hi everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so i hope everybody had a awesome may and happy june today i'm going to be sharing with you basically what i colored in may i haven't done a completed pages video since my february finishes so march and april if you watched my previous video about where i've been i unfortunately didn't get up to a lot of coloring only i think three of these pages are going to be from March and April and the rest is everything I colored in May which was a lot more than three thank goodness I was able to complete a few more pages this month which made me a lot happier than I had been in March and April with coloring uh, so I am still just gonna say this is my May finishes with a three extras from I believe March and April so I hope you guys enjoy and let's jump right into it alrighty so the first page is out of Chippy Girls Volume 3 by April Amber and this page is actually a butter a butter a buddy color I did way back in March. Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I completed this page. Uh you actually saw me do the galaxy background in yeah, I posted that video in March. It's one of my last videos I posted before I stopped filming and stopped coloring. But anyways, I did do this buddy color with Sonia over on Instagram. Her Instagram is Sonia, Sonia's Mixed Media Coloring. If you haven't checked out her Instagram, I don't think she has a YouTube. So definitely go check her out on Instagram. Um, this was her completed page. Very cute. We did a completely different color scheme, which I absolutely love. I went ahead and, like I said, did the Galaxy um as a YouTube tutorial with alcohol markers and then I made the ghosts I tried to make them see through <laughs> I used glossy accents on the ghosts um let me zoom in do you guys prefer me holding the book up or like zooming the camera in I always like get confused with zooming in so I just tend to like and then I can't fit the whole page in anyways so like I tend to just Hold it up maybe a bit of both i'm not sure <laughs> um so alcohol markers primarily and then like a bunch of accents so we had uh the glossy accents for the ghosts i have some silver gel pen some glitter gel pen the glazy black is of course the black glaze uh wow i haven't filmed these videos in so long and i did this page uh forever ago jelly roll <laughs> there we go um black glaze jelly roll pen i love the way that looks it makes it look like actual black leather i use some gold gel pen silver gel pen i use this new acrylic paint it's like a purple shift like if i hold it like this it looks pretty dark and then that way it looks like purple foil Lots of little shine, obviously some white gel pen for the stars. Some accents on her face, the wand, the book. I had a lot of fun with this one. And thank you, Sonia, so much for doing this buddy color with me way back in March. I'm glad I'm finally getting to show you guys the finished page. Alright, my next finished page is out of Intricate Flowers, Adult Coloring Book by Jade Summer. I've done a few pages out of this book, so I went back to it uh, to, I believe at the beginning of the month, to kind of get me back into, like slowly get me back into coloring. Um, so I went ahead and did this one in this purple, pastel purple and black palette. I kind of wanted to try and do a pastel goth is what I had in mind. I rarely color with black um, as like an actual color that I'm choosing and not just like things that are actually black. Um, that's pretty much the only time that I'll color black like the black ground or a black belt or you know things in the world that are actually typically black. So I wanted to try doing that and using it as an actual 
color. I did uh, just go ahead how I do these pages. So you should pick like five colors, a few gel pens, a few alcohol markers. So it is Caliar alcohol markers and then a few just basic black, uh, a black gel pen and a purple jelly roll. And that is that page. Next we have one out of Les Grand, Les Grand Classiques Tomb 2 Disney book by Hatchet and Heroes. This is one of the Disney French coloring by number books. I got two of them um, and I've colored in Tomb 1 and I decided I would color a page out of Tomb 2 and with these color by number books I kind of just go and order because you can't see what the image is unless you go and look in the back so I just decided doing them in order is the easiest way to go and I did want to go ahead and try out using watercolor um why do I always say watercolor markers they're water-based markers again and on a character that I wasn't totally in love with. I'm not a huge fan of Robin Hood, so I figured if it came out bad like Tinkerbell did, I wouldn't be too upset. Um, I do think he came out better than Tinkerbell. Um, I didn't really change my technique. I'm not happy with the wood. It's supposed to be two-toned. I'll show you what the finished one looks like. Um, there's definitely supposed to be two different color browns in the wood. You can see and that's how mine came out a little too close I picked these two browns is anything focusing I honestly feel like I can't see um, I am filming this at night so I have to use my overhead light instead of natural lighting so I'm sorry if there is a bit of shadows um, but yeah, so that's how he came out. That's how the streaking came out with the water-based markers. There's not too much you can do about it. Like I said, I do think it didn't come out as bad as the Tinkerbell page, but I do honestly think I'm going to choose to do colored pencils from here on out in these books. So that is this little guy from Robin Hood. I can't remember his name, Skippy. Does it say, or does it just say Robin Hood? I think it's his, I think his name's Skippy. Um, anywho, first page out of this book. I'm happy to have colored a page in this one. Um, either way. Next up we have Disney Babies, which is another French Disney coloring book, but this one is in the pixel art form. I've colored quite a few pages. This is my favorite one out of this series. I think I have four or five of them. I believe, yeah, and Disney Baby is my favorite just because I love how vibrant the finishes are or the color choices they picked and because I just think that this style of art lends itself really well to punchy bright colors. So I did Boo or Beau as they say in France <laughs> from Monsters Inc. She's so cute. I do crosses in the back cross stitch method for the background and then I do the main character um, fully colored in boxes and I did her name fully colored in as well so as you can see that's how that kind of turns out um, yeah she was just a super cute little page I did on stream one night I like to do color by numbers on twitch because they're easy and I don't have to focus very much I find it very hard to um, color with a webcam like in my face so like hovering over me because I'm someone who gets very close to my page and when I'm coloring live I can't do that so I like to do color by numbers and stuff like this so yeah you may have caught me coloring this one live if you saw on my twitch channel all right, next we have A Million Owls. I finally colored a page in this book. I don't mean finally, but is my first page um, from A Million Owls by Lulu Mayo. And this is another fun buddy color. Another, oh my gosh, we must have scheduled this buddy color in February or March, I think. Um, and I took so long, I think Christy gave up on me. Like, totally fair Christy I understand <laughs> I took so I just barely finished this like mid-May so mm, 
And also, if I have an outstanding buddy color with you that we happened to schedule in March, and then I went just depresso espresso and totally MIA on stream um, on streaming on coloring, I really do apologize. It's not you, it's me. Um, I think there's only one. I think it's with Michaela. So Michaela, I'm so sorry. I still haven't colored our page, and I don't know if I'm going to <laughs> with coloring being so up in the air with me. Like I'm really just trying to color whenever I can. So I apologize, but to Christy, I did finally get it done. <laughs> like I said, we picked this page so long ago. Uh, it feels like now, and it is this owl from, uh, like I said, the Million Owls book. This is what I decided to do with it. So for this page, I did use uh, my Brute, Brute Ferner. Uh, pencils, otherwise known as South Sun pencils. I believe the Brute Ferners um, have been repackaged in multiple different marketing um, packaging, so you might see them in a bunch of different uh, names. I bought them under the South Sun pencils, but they do say Brute Ferner on them. They're super cheap pencils off of Amazon, but I do really like using them on simple pages. Uh, or s more simple pages. <laughs> I guess this page isn't like super simple, but this is what I came up with. So colored pencil, those colored pencils for everything. Pastel on um, the background, a pastel background, and then a little bit of gel pen there on her feathers. Pretty pleased with how this came out besides how long it took me to finish it even though it's a tiny little page I am happy I was finally able to get it done and have a completed page now in the million owls coloring book so again Christy thank you for doing this buddy color with me or, or picking this page and inspiring me to color in this book. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and check out Christy's YouTube channel. Um, it's coloring or crafting with Christy. If you haven't checked her out on YouTube, I'll have it linked below. Next page is out of Chibi Girl's coloring book. This one is by, right by Lorisa, Lorisa May. Marinas. Look this up. Chibi Girls Coloring Book on Amazon. All of it linked below. All the books linked below if you want this one specifically. Um, she does a lot of other coloring books as well. I don't see this on YouTube nearly as nearly as much as I should because this book is so cute. Um, I finally did a page and this is yet another buddy color. It wasn't actually a buddy color. My sister colored this page and show, sent it to me and I was like... <gasps> I have that book and I haven't colored in it. Let's make it a body color. So this is my sister's finished page. Once again, a completely different color scheme. Love what she did. It was, she, like, like I said, her page is so cute. It inspired me. I literally ran and was like, I need to color this page too. So I did, and this is what I came up with. So it is an alcohol marker base, Ohuhu alcohol markers. Uh, based everything with alcohol markers and then I used Prisma colored pencils on her dress and her hair and a little tiny bit on her shoes and like as you can see I outlined some of the items everything to the right with a Prisma color pencil but other than that her skin just alcohol markers, the cupcakes, the whole background was just alcohol marker and a bit of, um, if you can see the sparkle on the sprinkles and the stars and in her hair. That is a Pentel Sparkle Pop in pink. I did Pentel Sparkle Pop in the center of the flowers, if I can get it to shimmer. I drew in the flowers. Uh, white gel pen or Posca pen? Honestly, I think I used a Posca pen for all the white on her dress. And yeah, I uh, did a alcohol marker border, alcohol marker in the background. I adore her. She is so cute. I love, love, love how she came out. Like I said, this book is so cute. I do, I do not know why I don't see more people coloring in it 
or more finished pages in it. I've seen I've seen it here and there. I'm not saying it's like unheard of on YouTube. I just feel like with how popular April Amber April Amber Chibi Girls are, I see those all the time. I would think that I would see this book just as much. So run out and snag this, please. It is so freaking cute. If you like Chibi Girls, this will not disappoint you. Also, like I said, it will be linked below for your convenience. <laughs> Another Lulu Mayo happened to sneak its way into my finished pages somehow. I was, after I finished The Owl, I was like, you know, I have so many of her books, uh, luckily, and I haven't colored in like half of them. And with it being mermaid and all, I was like, you know what, A Million Mermaids, it's getting colored. I picked this book up, picked a page, and I'm so happy I was able to color in it for mermaid. So A Million Mermaids by Lulu Mayo and This is the page I completed. If it's focused, I'm not sure. I don't know if I've been out of focus this whole video. I sure do hope not, but. So, this cute mermaid reading, right? Okay, when I saw this, I was instantly like, a mermaid reading a book, gotta color it. That's me. I mean, there are quite a few pages of mermaids holding a cat, which is also me. So this was hard to pick. This this whole book is so cute and it made me question myself and my life decisions of why I've yet up until this point not colored in it, but I hope to color many more pages in this book. This was just the beginning. So uh, the background is watercolor. I used my Paul Rubin watercolor paints for the background and I didn't bleed through or anything like that. And everything else is for like the coloring is my new Shapiro Farben. That's how you say that. I'm not sure. I'll have them linked below. Shapiro Farben coloring pencils. They're oil based pencils. Um, they were on like 20% off or something on Amazon this month. So I went ahead and picked them up. This is my first time using them. And I don't know if it was just this paper, but I didn't like them. <laughs> Uh, personally for me I didn't like them they were so difficult to blend as you can see I did a lot of I tried to do a lot of blending on this page with the flowers and the leaves by the time I got to the mermaid and the bow I was so tired of using these pencils it was not fun I didn't enjoy the way they worked on this paper at least. I'll have to use them at least in one other coloring book before my final verdict is that I don't like them. But also, once again, when it comes to colored pencils, I typically use Prismas, which are wax. I'm not super versed in oil-based. I need to use my polys more, so it could just be that type of issue for me, but I wouldn't like run out and recommend them to you guys. But they were on a super sale or deal, so I'm not too upset, and I'm happy I have another like low budget um, oil based option to use besides my polychromos. Anyways, back to the page. <laughs> um, so all colored with those colored pencils and then um, accents are all white Posca, all the white accenting that I did, the bubbles, the stars in her hair, little dots and all of that on the bow. That is white Posca paint pen. And I use a touch of stickles in the flowers, if you can see. It's like pink stickles. And Wink of Stella on her tail. And that's a wrap on this page. I can't say I love it. Uh, the, the, I don't know about my color choices, to be honest. Um, but, you know. It's cute. I'm happy. It's colorful when that's what matters to me. It's super colorful. I like coloring really bright pages. I just don't know how to make a page bright and also cohesive. That's my problem. Like in my head, this mermaid had blue hair, but I don't know. I just, I don't think everything really meshes together um, really well on this one, but I'm happy that it's like bright. So overall, it's cute. I like it. And finally, last but certainly not least, going out with a bang on this one, my Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. If you are new to my YouTube, sorry about that, my camera once again decided to shut off. I think it just like overheats or I'm not even sure why it does that. But anyways, what I was saying or about to say was I'm not sure 
I, I'm just going to say I'm not sure if I'm going to go in order. I don't think I am. I'm just going to show you, and they're not in the order we completed them. They're just in the order they are in the book. They show up. So, this is the first one. If you're new to split coloring, also, again, we quite literally cut the page in half. I color one side, they color the other side, and then I washi tape it back into the book. I colored a page, one of these pages live, and I explained that um, in my last video. But this one I did with my sister, so this side here is what I did, and this is the side my sister did. I told her she looks like um, Link from Legend of Zelda. She had no idea what that was, but honestly, it's definite Link vibes. Like, if Link was a princess <laughs> protecting his castle. How cute is this one, you guys? So this, actually my half, this side, might be one of my all-time favorite finishes in this book. I'm not sure why. Everything just came out super clean. I love her eye. I love, like, just the color choices, the small little details I added, a little bit of glitter gel pen. I added the cracks in the stone. I added the brick, just like my sister added cobblestone on this side as well. Um, we both made it nighttime, which it totally didn't have to be nighttime, but we both picked nighttime. It's just so cool to see the differences and the similarities that each person makes when only having half the page to color. Um, so yeah, a little bit of gel pen on my side. A little bit on hers too, I think, yeah so cute uh, i'm sorry warning i'm gonna be saying so cute for the next couple minutes while i show you these pages because like i said the, this always just makes me so happy so the next one is this one and this was with my mom again if i didn't mention prior me and my sister use alcohol markers to color our pages with small details like uh, gel pen and stuff like that. My mom uses a colored pencils, so that is what these pages are colored with. I think she just has a really old Crayola set and Arteza's, if you're wondering. So, this is like the Alice in Wonderland inspired page. I made mine um, inspired by the Mad Hatter with the red hair from the... I cannot speak from the uh, live action film and then the outfit choices were more from the animated film of the Mad Hatter. She made hers more like Alice with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. I love my mom's background. What the heck? It's so cute. Her outfit, so cute. I used a little bit of metallic paint on my side for the cogs, and then I added those details on the hat. I'm really happy with how the red hair came out. It's so bright, which is exactly what I was aiming for. I used a gold Posca for the dots in the background and on the stars. Guys, this is so cool, right? I love that one. And next is this, another one with my mom. So we did the chemistry girl. So my mom did this side with her colored pencils. I used alcohol marker again. That's going to be the same for every single page, so it won't be repetitive. That's how this one came out. She's like a crazy scientist woman. We both made her eyes weird. They had the, line, the circles already there, so I love how my mom made hers green with like the green infection juice coming out of the needle so cute I mean honestly my mom slayed this one she hand wrote this uh equation in there like what so cool <laughs> this one was pretty basic on my part um I drew some scribbles in the clipboard to make it seem like she was going crazy I like the background it's simple this is a really fun one they were they're all really fun Oh my gosh, this one, you guys. Oh, another one with my mom. My mom came through with coloring me, coloring with me this month, you guys. Look at this page. She killed it. Oh my gosh, you guys. My mom is always like, oh, you and Ashley, my sister. Oh, she's like, your pages always come out so much. No, look at this. Her side is amazing. My rude camera cut me off and shut off again, but I know why. It's overheating. I don't know. It's super hot in my room right now. My poor camera is like 
dying apparently anyways look at this where was i obsessing over how good my mom did on this page i love her color selection that she chose it works so good it just it's punchy and vibrant and it just works it is so cool look at her little tights that she did the milk the hair with the little red um highlights on the end i went pretty basic on this one and I gave her like gray white hair like very anime girl is what I was thinking I even did the little like anime symbol of like when they're angry because she looked pissed um she about to beat someone up with that bat I don't know I did a little bit of an ombre background I like my side it's cute but my mom's side blew mine out of the water like not that it's a competition by any means it's not it's just like she killed this page she slayed it it's this ugh, this is my favorite um, side my mom has ever colored, for sure. It's so cute. Another one! This one was from back in April with my sister, so this was so long ago that we colored this. Um, but yeah, we did the little summertime sweetie, little cute cutie this one's so sweet <laughs> my sister got most of the girl which i love she was really able to like do the whole dress super cute i got all the hair i did very basic she's super tan ready to sell that lemonade she's so cute i like how i did the background like kind of just squiggled out not fully colored in this one pretty basic simple alcohol markers hardly any embellishments a little bit there in her barrette um very cute very cute ah, this one oh my gosh again ah, my mom killed it i love her side i love her side so much so this is the side i colored in my last video i did this um most of it I did it in that video, but I, my final touches, as you can see now in the completed side, look at my mom's side, a pastel dream. I love how she did the skin, super light pink. Oh my gosh, the colors, she picked the blending in the background. Oh, it's so cute. I don't even know what to say. I love this one too. It's a, it's a standout. We did so good. That, like I was telling them, I was like, oh, this book is supposed to just be like fun easy coloring like we are coming to win with these pages like we're giving it all we've got and i'm loving it the way these pages did just keep getting better and better every month and it's insane i used a bunch of glitter in her hair the stardust jelly roll is my accents um that's how her outfit came out i did the little like freckles i've done that before on other pages in this book um like i said my mom no, no, look at, and she does this just colored pencil, no accents, no gel pen accents, like, her page is just so cute. I'm not in love with my skin, especially next to my mom's, like, beautiful pastel unicorn skin, and mine's, like, super blotchy tan, <laughs> tan skin. I, she just came out a lot darker than I wanted her to be. I wanted her to be pretty pale to match the pastel, um, but yeah, she, if you watch my video, you, you, you saw that debacle. But still absolutely love this page oh next up another oldie this is done with my sister again we did this a long time ago um we did this cute little cop girl i made her <laughs> i made her pretty sassy i gave her the the <laughs> made her shoes high heels gave her the fishnets i don't know where she's going or who she's arresting but i think it's uh, it's gonna be a party wherever she shows up but i gave her the glitter hair again with the um stardust i made her hair pink i love her pink hair um again we both did nighttime i love that i love my sister's side with the freckles and the red hair again these pages are just flawless so cute and last but not least, ooh, our genie page. I did this with my sister. I was heavily inspired by Aladdin. I did mine basically, the genie classic. My sister went a little out of the box and hers came out. Look at her gold. Are you kidding me? I love her background. She doesn't know what she was going for, but girl, it worked. This just makes me so happy. I'm sure you can tell by the way I talk, I'm talking about these pages, but I just 
love doing this with my mom and my sister. Like, I cannot thank them enough for always coming through and coloring with me. It has been such an unexpected joy. And I appreciate it so much. Again, alcohol markers for both pages. A little bit of white gel pen. Gold gel pen on my side. Um, yeah, I just did the basic genie. I didn't really even give her an eye. Very animated. I did a little bit of color pencil around the border. Or around her to make her look like she was like glowing. I was inspired for my background by the Cave of Wonders. I looked at pages of the inside. Pictures. I looked at pictures of the inside. And it kind of had that orangey, reddish uh, color, so that's what I did. I mean, how cute! You have to tell me below which your which page was your favorite split coloring from this month. So I'll give you a quick recap in case you can't remember, because we did do a lot. We did the genie. We did the cop girl, unicorn princess. Oh, my votes for that one. We did the anime anime girl let's just call her the anime girl so good. <laughs> we have chemistry lady and oh chemistry lady alice in wonderland the mad hatter girl or the what would you even call her princess the swordsman swords sword princess i'm not sure this page <laughs> tell me below in a comment which was your favorite i loved them all equally you guys we're super close to finishing um this book and i can't wait to do a full flip through video showing you every single page back to back it's gonna be great um and i can't wait for that so that completes my finished pages thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me for a bit of your day or night i really do appreciate it i hope you all had an amazing May, like I said, I am slowly trying to get back into the swing of things. Hopefully I will have enough pages to show you for June. I have a video idea that I want to film to at least have one more video go up in June. So stay tuned if you aren't subscribed. Please do. I would love to have you back um, for any future videos I decide to film subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post and of course everyone who's already subscribed Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is insane. Hopefully by the next video, I will be thanking you for 2K, but I don't want to, I don't want to jump the gun, but you guys are insane and amazing, and I love you guys so much, and I hope that everyone's doing well and taking care of themselves. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!